After about an hour of careful studying, I have formed my standings bracket for the NFL season. In the AFC East, you have New England winning the division. Big fucking surprise there. The New York Jets going 9-7 but still missing the playoffs. The Buffalo Bills going 6-10 and, and the Miami Dolphins performing in the Tank Bowl with a 2-14 record. In the AFC North, you have the Cleveland Browns winning the division for the first time in franchise history. Keep in mind that their history in the, before 1999 goes to the Ravens. Speaking of which, they'll be third in the division, going a clean 8-8. Eight and eight. Pittsburgh shall claim the wild card with a 9-7. and seven. And Cincinnati, again, will be competing in the Tank Bowl, but even in this endeavor, they will lose. AFC South, the Houston, despite having no offensive line, will be able to claim the division since Indianapolis had a shocking retirement of Andrew Luck and Jacoby Brissett is raw. Tennessee will once again claim mediocrity since nobody on that team can stay healthy for a full season. Jacksonville will have another struggling season at 7-9 and nine because there are too many egos on that team and you have to win with more than just defense. Nick Foles, you're a goddamn fraud and you're gonna be blanched repeatedly because of it. Indianapolis, you're just plain fucked. Maybe next time you'll protect Andrew Luck. In the AFC West, we have Kansas City going 14-2. and I refuse to call them LA, so I'm going to just call them San Diego, going 12-4 and and claiming the wild card. Denver having an impressive 9-7 and seven year, but ultimately being short of the playoffs because, well, the AFC West is just too damn stacked. And Oakland competing in the Tank Bowl with a 3-13 season. In the NFC East, you have the Philadelphia Eagles claiming the division with a 12-4 record after a career revival for Carson Wentz. The Dallas Cowboys, however, will fall behind due to Ezekiel Elliott holding out and all of the other t drama that's plaguing this team from its potential. As for the other two contestants, the New York Giants butt-fumbled bad. Hell, I mean, shit. They didn't even butt-fumble. They just straight dirt their way through a terrible offseason, and that's going to show on the field this year. The Washington Redskins, which I fucking hate that name, considering that I'm a Cherokee myself, like, seriously, are you going to tolerate people calling you the Nashville niggers? I didn't think so. Sell the fucking team. The Chicago Bears will take the NFC North with a 12-4 record. However, with Green Bay splurging in free agency, they can claim a wild card with an 11-5 record. Minnesota's lack of an O-line is going to kill them, and Kirk Cousins is about as mediocre as they come. Too bad they fall for the bait on that one. Detroit is, well... Detroit. Pure dysfunction at every way you turn. In the NFC South, I have New Orleans claiming the conference with a 13-3 record. Atlanta and Carolina will prove to be valuable opponents, but ultimately fall short of the playoffs, and Tampa Bay will be competing in the Tank Bowl with a 4-12 record. Take that, Jameis Winston, you complete fucking dolt. The NFC West, we have the LA Rams going 12 and 4. Also on a side note, fuck you, Cronky. He's the team owner of the Rams, by the way. Uh, Seattle and San Francisco will have a step back. Well, at least for Seattle's case. San Francisco is finally gonna stay healthy and prove that they are actually mediocre instead of piss terrible. I like what I'm seeing out of Joy Bosa, so. Um, if he can develop into a primary pass rusher, um, San Francisco's defense could be scary. As for Arizona, they are going to be the third team in NFL history to go 0-16. And they will win the Tank Bowl once again for the second year in a row. In the playoffs, we have the Kansas City Chiefs taking the conference lead while New England gets a bye week. In the wild cards, we have Cleveland taking on Pittsburgh and Houston taking on San Diego. And over on the NFC ticket, we have New Orleans with winning the conference and Chicago getting the bye week. In the wild card matchups, we have Philadelphia against Dallas and Los Angeles versus Green Bay. 
those should be some fun matchups. And if I'm right about this playoff prediction, um, my guesses on the Powerball are 6, 13, 8, 19, and 4. You're welcome.